Newcastle United. The signing of Sandro Tonali has changed entirely the way that I feel about that club. I think that they are serious, serious contenders. For what? I think for anything. Interesting. I think they are. I think the signing contenders of Tonali... Contenders for the Champions League final? Yes. Okay. I think they are genuine now. Mm. I really do. Okay. I mean, think about their team. Their team is exceptional. They've now signed Tonali, who every big club would have wanted. Mm. Newcastle United have gone to Milan, an elite club, to sign an elite player, to beat off... Still very young. Opposition. Still still a kid. Still a kid. I like him, but still a kid. Mm, he's a kid who's just played in a semi-final of the European Cup. He's, mm. a, he's, a, he's not a kid by the definition of being okay, a kid. Okay, no, fair enough. He's, yeah. an experi- he's an experienced, proven footballer. Yeah, I mean, look, he's an Italian, full Italian international. And he's chosen Newcastle. Yeah. Their team now is so good. You look at it on paper, it's so good. The signings that they're making are so good. Bringing in somebody like Tonali to take the burden away from Bruno Gomares is so impressive. Playing him with Gomares, they're going to be an amazing partnership. Mm. When Gomares is out, bearing in mind last year when Gomares was out, they didn't win a game. Mm. Suddenly Gomares is out now, six times that happened last year. They can mix year. it up a bit now, can't Bring they? Bring him in. The yeah. two of them playing together will be brilliant. Yeah. Individually, they're brilliant. It's a naughty midfield as well, by the way. If they're playing a free. I mean, when I say well, naughty, Joe Linton I mean, as well. Yeah, who's a monster. Who's now um, well done to him as well, getting called up to the mm. Brazilian squad, playing. I think he might have scored in a game. I can't remember. But anyway, look, that midfield of Joe Linton, um, Gimarish, and Sandra Tonali. All of a sudden, that's a title winning midfield. It's a title winning midfield. Title-winning midfield. You think about what you need up front. You've got somebody in Callum Wilson who just knows where the back of the net is, mm. right? However good you think he is, anybody watching this video, whatever the debate is, whatever the line is for Callum Wilson, Giza puts the ball in the back of the net. Yeah. So that is essential if you want to win the league. The sprinkling of magic. One of the most memorable moments of last season was Alexander Isaac's magic at Goodison Park. Goodison Park destroyed everyone. One of the best. One. Man, of, I've one, been telling everyone he's, he's on re and people laugh at me. There's a clip going around. It's early around. for the Henri. No, but there's a clip going around of him doing exactly what Henri does. It was edited yeah, so yeah. well. And I was like, this. I've been talking about Isak for ages. And obviously they took the risk on him, a lot of money, picks up his injuries. Um, the problem is Eddie Howe still hasn't yet found a formation that includes both of them. So it's either one or the other, unless they're 2-0 down in a game and they've got to play both. He needs it's, to work that out. Though, yeah, Isak like from the left and Callum Wilson through the middle makes sense. And maybe um, Almiron. Or on the right, but he still hasn't quite yet found the formation up front. Remember, prior to, I think, around January or February, they weren't scoring goals. And all of a sudden, they just went crazy. I think they got beat by United in the League Cup final. And all of a sudden, he's like, oh, let's do this. Then they started scoring goals. So he needs to find a formation which works where you get Isak and Callum Wilson on the pitch at the same time. And, and he hasn't yet done uh, that. But if that formula clicks, mm. you know the personnel that we're discussing here? If it clicks... I don't, do know how high rate, I don't know how high I rate Callum Wilson. I don't rate him as highly as you just did with your opening scores little goals. thing. Well, like, what do you want? Like, what do you want? He scores goals all the more time. More goals. He scores goals all the time. I need, I need more. I need more goals. I, I, I mean, need more goals and I need to know that he is going to be fit for 95% of the I'd season. Say, across their team now, you look across their team, mm. you've got Kieran Trippier, who is exceptional. Yeah, yeah. Could you've be got the best Botman, right back in the country. Who is exceptional you then look at the midfield it's littered with exceptional footballers people rate Pope I'm, I'm less convinced by Pope yeah. but people like Pope yeah and then the forward line Isak who is definitely one of the most mercurial unpredictable talents in the league mm. and I rate him highly you may not but Giza scores goals yeah this is a team that can compete it, 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 I, Dan Burn if he was a left back yeah he's fine isn't he like you can't have only Manchester City will have that flawless team, that yeah. flawless system. Yeah, but we're, we, again, that's that's the benchmark. So we're trying to get to as close to that as possible no, to make a sustained you bid. Can, you can you can compete for the league in your own way. Yeah. You're not gonna. You're never gonna do what Man City do. You're mm. never gonna be able to compete with them. So let them have. That no, point. I mean, I mean, what compete Newcastle with them in Newcastle terms of. No, goals. you're right. I mean, compete with them in terms of. Okay. How good your starting eleven and how good are your players coming off the bench? Because you mentioned it, you said when Bruno didn't play, they didn't win a game. Mm. So that means the squad's not big enough. The squad's not good enough. They have, but now they're competing in the Champions League, and we expect them to go deep in all the competitions because they're Newcastle. They we expect to because they're they want to now the biggest teams in the Premier League. I I don't know if the squad's good enough to really. They almost it's almost like they're going to have to sacrifice something early. 
if they're going to want to make a sustained bid for the, the Premier league. league title. Yeah. Dude, you know, they can't they can't do that because they're Newcastle and they need to. Dude, you know this as well as I do and I know it from unfortunately going through it. Mm. You've got to win 13 to 14 games in a row, dude. That's what it is. And that's why I always said Arsenal wouldn't because they, they're not cap- you're not it's mental that what you've got to do now to even be in the running. So when we say in the running, by the way, we're not talking, you know, your second place and your 15 points behind. What I hope you're meaning is, you know, five games to go, they're there. Mm. And you've got to be something incredible to do that. And we've only seen two teams, of all the teams in the Premier League, we've only seen two teams able to do that of recent, Man City and Liverpool. But Newcastle went on a run. Okay, it wasn't as impressive, but they went on a run they where did. they just basically didn't concede any goals. Do you mm. remember? Yeah. Like, they were totally impenetrable at the back. Yeah. That if they do that... You're right, defensively, they're amazing. Defensively, they're set. We're talking about how good the midfield is. I think there's goals and I think there's more goals to come. Mm. Like they're already talking about signing potentially Harvey Barnes, aren't they? Okay. Good, good player, scores goals. Good. Adds to the forward line. Yeah. Probably doesn't start that much. I think they're eyeing up Conor Gallagher as well. I think they're eyeing up Calvin Phillips. Mm. I just think if they get this right, it could land. They're going to have to get it right. Yeah. But I'm, I'm now, because I think the Tonali signing was my line. It's I think good. everyone had their line. Yeah. Some people, it was... The Saudi takeover was yeah. the line. For others, it was maybe the arrival of Kieran Trippier. For some people, it was... For me, it was Isak. Isak was that line. Was like, line. Oh, they've got serious here. Yeah. For me, it's the Tanali. I've just gone, hang on a minute. What? They've gone to AC Milan and they've taken AC Milan's, maybe not their best player, but their most... The, the their jewel, centrepiece. The, the jewel in the crown. Yeah. The jewel in the crown. The, the they've AC done Milan, that. They've the decided... Milan yeah. Fan Bear in stole... mind, that jewel in the crown has been replaced by Ruben Loftus-Cheek. They literally <laughs> stolen the jewel of the crown. Yeah. It shows the financial struggles they're going through and they've replaced him with Ruben Loftus-Cheek. And he's become the most expensive Italian ever. Really? Yeah. You know, it was Jorginho before, Chelsea Jorginho. Wow. So, so yeah, he's become the... Didn't like, this right, is the question. Moment. Can I ask you a question? Mm. I asked you this a couple of weeks back about Arteta and I said, you asked me, would Arteta, would Arsenal make a sustained bid for the league? And I said to you, how good's Arteta? Mm. How good's Eddie Howe? Yeah, this I don't know. This I don't know because Eddie Howe is about to experience something that I don't think he's ever experienced in his life. It's certainly not Bournemouth, yeah. certainly not at Newcastle so far. And that is expectation. Mm. Like n- n- at the, there were no expectations at Bournemouth. Survival is success. Yeah. When he first took over at Newcastle, survival was success. Yeah. Last year, he exceeded the expectations, but the expectations still didn't really exist. Yeah. He could have easily got away with being sixth, yeah. seventh. Mm. It would have still been seen as like progress. Uh, absolutely. Like he's, he's almost now. he's almost gone too quick for something. He's he might have almost gone too quick for himself. Well, it can happen. Yeah, Lampard's yeah. an example of that. Yeah, that goes too quick. But I, I do think like Newcastle very, fans now expect top four. They expect top four. I think they I think they're going to start expecting silverware. They've been in a cup final. They've got beat. Silverware you know, you know, has you know, to you be know, the, the next. You know the problem ambition. about that thing is silverware. Uh, Arsenal fans expect the same. Understandably so, right? The behemoth in the northwest. The behemoth of we've not Man City. That I don't think I've seen before in the Premier League ever. No. And bear in mind, great Chelsea teams, Man City teams, sorry, Man United teams. Them up there. So everyone says, oh, we expect silverware because what they're doing is so that almost that sentence should be written off. No one should expect silverware. Whatever they drop for you, whatever crumbs mm. they give you, then take. But mate, what? You're, you're correct, maybe from a fan's point of view. Yeah. Maybe from a rational point of view as well. But owners don't think that way. No, but football. Clubs certainly can't feel like that. Like, effectively, what you're saying is Jurgen Klopp do you think should Newca- be happy with second. No, but do you think Newcastle... No, but it's a bit different, Liverpool. Do you think Newcastle fans are honestly expecting silverware this season? But I think they're legitimately expecting silverware. They've just been in a final and got But beat. there's almost... Yeah, but we've seen that from them in the noughties as well. Yes, but... I, I don't know if there's... I don't know if... If you get to a final and lose and also finish in the top four, yeah. you are totally entitled the following season to believe that silverware is coming your way. Like, look, Chelsea are all over the place, but I've been conditioned to believe that silverware is coming. Our why way. though? All, why? Because I've been conditioned to believe that over and the past And why is that? Decades. Why is that, by the way? Because it has come. Exactly. But, That's my point with Newcastle. Because them, it has come. But, so you know, because you're the record books, you can look back and say, regardless if we finish 10th or 11th, I know, because the record books tell me that this team has won... 13 trophies in 14 but years. Quite often, we expect silverware. Quite often. So for Chelsea, Chelsea okay. went 25 yeah. years. Chelsea went 25 years without a trophy, right? 71, we beat Real Madrid in Athens. Mm. We then didn't win another trophy until 97 Middlesbrough. 94 cup final, we got beat. Mm. 94, we got to the cup final in 94. In 95, 
we got beaten in the semi-final of the cup. David mm. Becker. So you would always knocking. knocking on the door. Always knocking on the door. We got to the, the semi-final of a European competition because Man United won the league. We got to the FA Cup final in '95. We got to the semi-finals of the Cup Winners' Cup. Like you, you're there. You're, you're there. You're serious. You are there. But again, and I always bring our age into this. We will remember when it was a top two. Then it went to a big four. So with a top two and a big four, what Chelsea were part of the big four you can expect to kind of do something because you're only competing against three others and you're going to be there or thereabouts. Now there genuinely is a big six. Mm. Maybe there's maybe with Brighton, there might be a big yeah. seven or eight. Villa, yeah. Villa as well. There's just so I, many in front of you. I think that Newcastle... Look, I think Newcastle will win trophies. So does their fans must think that. Because I think it's coming. So their fans, their fans are incredibly pessimistic if they don't believe it, because I believe it and I don't want it to happen. Newcastle United, Man United tomorrow in the final, who wins? Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow, wins? Man United. But Man United in, because in, of the history as well, though, isn't it? Let's yeah, think about that. Yeah, because it, certain things, it's, it's like, you know, when Newcastle Liverpool play almost, Tottenham, I feel like Liverpool. Newcastle almost need it to land where... They play, they, they play Middlesbrough, like we got Middlesbrough. I'm telling you, one of those ones. I'm yeah. telling you. That, that, get to the final. Get to and, the final and hopefully... Yeah, Watford have got there somehow. I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah. Wigan. Yeah. Portsmouth. Yeah. Like, no disrespect. Well, we got Borough. With 94, we played Man United, who just yeah. won the league. We got Borough, who'd gone down. I remember Liverpool, 05, 06, West Ham. No disrespect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. West Ham, FA Cup final. Sometimes you need yeah. it to be one of those you ones need where... You need to go your way. You need it to go your way. Where if do they... you think, if it clicks, if Eddie Howe gets it right, mm. if he's learnt from his time in Spain with yeah. uh, Simeone and all that, it, he, he really is the man, yeah, yeah. right? Let's pretend he really is the man. Yeah. No, no negotiations. He gets it right. Yeah. The signings then. Yeah. Where do they finish? Fourth. No way. Fourth. Their team's better than that. Fourth. No way. They're fourth. not fourth. They're not the fourth, fourth best team on. if they it all are, goes well. They are though. They're, 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 they're it's Man City. If it goes well for Newcastle. Sorry, Newcastle fans. But it's Man City. No. It's Liverpool. It's Arsenal. And then it's Newcastle. I'm putting you above United. That's the four. I'm putting you above United. That's the four. Look at me. That's the four. That is it. It's Man City. It's Liverpool. It's Arsenal. And do they win any silverware? The routine I just said. The route I just said. So if they land and somehow the big boys get knocked out... I think they. No, but they're capable of. They might not be capable of beat, beating Manchester United in a final, but they could easily knock Manchester United out in the last sixteen. Yeah, they could do that. They could do they that. Could do they're that. not relying it's on. It's the final. Yeah. You know how easy it was. By the way, I know, I, I know, um, I know. That obviously, there's no Tonali. But you know, how easy United made that final look. Yeah. Against them. No, no, it happens in a final. That's and, what you, and you knew and, it was and, and that's that's the thing about. Mm. You, you've not been there enough times. But next time they get there, yeah. Even if they're playing a Manchester United, it won't be so easy. Look, by the way. I think we both said this. They'll win the league in five years. Mm. No matter how, it's going to happen. A bit like City, yeah. it's going to happen. Yeah, there's an inevitability. There's an inevitability to it. You always said to me, Ade, Man City are going to win the Champions League and I've always laughed at you. Mm. They don't have the history. They don't have the history. You said, it's inevitable. Mm. With the money that's coming in, the investments, might not be Eddie Helm, by the way, but they could win it. I think they'll have a really good season, Newcastle. I think they will finish really fourth. Season. If that's what we're doing. <laughs> Thank you so much for everyone who's watched this. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And please, before you go, make sure that you subscribe to Adi Oladipo's YouTube channel. The link is in the description below. In a bit. All right, let, let me, me get ready. ready.